Hi, Grant here at Battery Wholesale. We're here out of Minnesota. We're at our St. Joe location today. We'll be working on an easy go cart here with a 36 volt system. Um, I've got a cart here that does need a new set of batteries in it. Uh, so I'll just kind of walk you through on what to do and what not to do with a set of batteries. So I'll go ahead and lift the seat off here and we'll be right back. Go ahead and remove the seat here. What you're going to notice is that there's been a lot of corrosion buildup on the cables throughout the, the years that this been, has been in use. Uh, there's a few different reasons for it. You're always going to be building up some sort of corrosion uh, because when the batteries are being recharged, they're gassing. So the gas kind of comes up and it wants to collect on something. It really likes to collect on lead. So what happens is, is you end up building up some green and white corrosion. And when you have corrosion, it's basically resistance. It's resistance from the current going into the battery and resistance from the current going out. So if you have a lot of corrosion, you're not getting the full power out of your batteries and you're not getting the full charge back into your batteries. Uh, the corrosion is pretty simple to, to take care of and maintain. First thing is, is when you go ahead and put your water in, you're not going to want to, um, obviously you're going to want to have the distilled water covering the plates. Um, you always want to make sure that the water is covering the plates. But don't also, don't overfill your, your cells because you don't want the water coming up past the little plastic flange that dips down in the inside here. Um, what happens is, is if you overfill it, uh, it'll start spilling out, boiling out, and you'll lead to excess corrosion. So when you put the caps back on, even after you put the water in, you always want to make sure you snap them down away from you. Um, so any acid's going to bounce away from you and not into your eyes. If you have noticed, I do have plastic gloves on and I do have proper eyewear on. Because when you do do this, you're going to have corrosion and you're going to have acid um, kind of splashing up. So we kind of talked a little bit about the corrosion and how we're going to want to maintain it. Um, one thing I did, did not cover is, is they do cover a red spray. So once we're done cleaning them and put a new set of batteries in here, we are going to cover it with a red spray. The red spray was used here at one point also. What it does is it helps to stop the corrosion from building and, and grabbing onto the metal. Um, so we're going to go ahead and disconnect the cart. First thing you're going to want to do is shut your cart from uh, run to tow mode, um, which I've already done. Uh, so that way it helps to kill all the, the battery power. You're also going to want to disconnect your negative cables first. Um, when you disconnect your negative cables, you're going to want to tuck them out of the way. But you're also going to want to make sure that you keep track of what cable goes where so you can uh, put it back together. One thing I've found throughout my years is uh, with the new iPhones and that type of thing is take a picture of the batteries before you disconnect any cables. So you will be able to map out how to rehook them back up again. You're also going to want to make a mental note of where your positive and negatives are on your batteries. So for instance, this cart is rigged with all the positives um, tucked to the back of the cart and all the positives on this bank tucked to the front of the cart. So when you lift out the old ones and you drop the new ones in, you know where they go, your cables will line back up again and you'll be good to go. So like I said, I did disconnect my negative cable here, so I'm going to tuck the cables away. Then I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. I've already pre-loosened the cables just for video's sake. So I'm going to go ahead and take the positives off. I'm going to tuck these out of the way. And what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to cut the video here and I'm going to disconnect all the cables and lift the batteries out and drop the new ones in. We'll see you in a bit. Here we've removed all six batteries out of here and this is kind of what we're left with. Um, one cable here we found completely once we went to go and take it off uh, was completely rotted. Um, we did find one other cable, when we talked about cables before, it was completely snapped off once we touched the cable. So I can't stress enough that I, I really recommend if the cables start to look at all bad, just to go ahead and replace the cables. For instance, this cart here, you're going to be looking at roughly $15 to replace all the cables in here. Um, I guess with, the set, with making the investment of a set of batteries, $15 is probably a, a good way to spend. You can also see since the batteries started to age themselves, they also started to gas. So they've clung on to anything metal um, is what they've done here. So what we're going to have to do is uh, get a scraper out and scrape all this off because we want to get it back down to the metal because what will happen is, is if you keep leaving it be, it will rot out your uh, metal cage on the bottom and then you're going to have to replace that. So we also do, uh, we have bought some treatment, we just mixed it into another bottle here. 
Um, once we're done, we're going to spray on it to help neutralize any extra acid that's in here. Um, what, we'll, what, what we'll do is we'll also replace the cable end here so it's a good connection. And then obviously we're going to replace all the other battery cables. And any other ends that start to look a little corroded, we're just going to go ahead and put a new end on it so it's all fresh and clean with no new corrosion. Alright, so we'll see you back when we get the six in there. Talk to you. I went ahead and got the six batteries put back in. Um, I did get the tie down already fastened just for camera's sake and time purposes. Uh, I did pay attention when I put them in that I made sure, like just like we talked about before, the positives were out both ways because that's um, the way the cart was wired. I do want to show you what we did come across when we started pulling cables. Here's one that completely uh, was rotted off, so it was he was getting uh, a lot of resistance in the cart because he wasn't able to get the current through. Um, we went ahead and just cut this end off because there's a lot of corrosion even starting to back up the cables here, so we just went ahead and uh, cut it off and put a new end on. So I do have my uh, new cable kit here um, that we're going to put all new cables on. So, but I do want to talk about the safety of putting um, the cables on. First of all, you're always going to want to make sure that you're watching where both of your metal ends are at. You don't want to complete a circuit because then you're going to have sparks flying and that's never a good thing. So if we start off here where positive started, you're always going to go positive, negative, positive, negative all around, all around the battery. So for instance, here you got a negative. We're going to roll our cells right off into a positive. And then we'll go ahead and take our nuts and put them on. Um, if you notice, we did get new hardware from Trojan here. So we have all new nuts that we're going to put on here also so everything is clean. So for instance, so we went negative positive, we're going to have another negative to a positive here again. And we're going to go ahead and nut that down. You're really going to want to try to replace as much of the, the corroded material that's in here as you can. Um, it's going to help to prevent the corrosion from building up faster in the future. You'll notice here across the back cable here it's going to be a little bit not longer but so like I talked about before we're going negative positive negative positive negative and then we're going back over to the positive again. We'll talk a little bit about here as I'm doing this is your winter storage. Um, the big thing is is a lot of the chargers that come with the carts now are automatics. Great. I like it because it shuts the charger off and won't overcharge the batteries. The problem you run into, like we do here in Minnesota, where you have an off-season, um, uh, the long duration of time that we have, you really need a charger that's going to go to float mode or a maintenance mode. A battery will discharge itself just sitting with nothing hooked up to it. Um, that being said, we're going to be sitting you know, roughly six months without any use um, to it. I talked to Trojan the other day and they said that um, a set of batteries at 75 degrees will drop to about 70% capacity in nine weeks. So you run the math on that and we're running a long time, the batteries can end up sitting at a complete discharge. But if you have a charger that is fully automatic that goes to a float mode or a maintenance mode, it's gonna make sure that these batteries sit at the optimum voltage that it needs to sit at um, over the off season to reduce the sulfation buildup and in turn killing the battery. As I was talking there, we did pass by um, an extra cable that comes off the back wall here. Uh, the reason for that cable is they're isolating off two batteries, putting them in series to make it um, a 12 volt system. Um, so that's how you run your lights and your horns and stereos and that type of thing. What happens when you end up running um, a lot of accessories on your cart, such as stereos, loudspeakers, amplifiers, you're really going to wear on these two batteries. Um, I recommend uh, once a year at least um, you may have to extend this wire but isolate two different batteries or move the batteries around in the cart because what's happening is you're really discharging these two batteries very fast compared to the rest of them. So these will age very fast which will also in turn hurt your pack of batteries. So that being said, um, all these bolts need to be tightened down. Um, what you're going to want to get them is you don't want to over tighten them so you pull the bolt right out of the lead but you're going to want to make sure that they're good and snug. You're also going to want to make sure that, you know, most of us have metal wrenches that you're not going to want to lay the wrench across any of these batteries in here because uh, if you complete a circuit you're going to get sparks 
uh, moving. So be real careful with your, your metal tools in here. Um, if you do have some plastic uh, handle tools, you know, wrap type of thing would be the best. So that way, if you do tap something or get a little haywire, you don't have to uh, worry about it. Grab my hat. So now that we've got them all tight, uh, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and uh, hook your positives up. If you notice here, we did replace the ends on a few of these cables um, because we didn't like the corrosion buildup that was happening there. So we're trying to reduce it as much as we can. During this whole time, you do want to recognize I did keep it in tow mode, so I do have the car completely or uh, mainly shut off from all power. So I went ahead and connected all my negative wires on here. And I'll snug those up. So like we talked about before, you know, you can get a lot of corrosion. So we do have some battery terminal protection. Um, it's a red spray. Some people use like a silicone gel. Either one's going to really do, but we're really just trying to get it so that acid, um, as it builds up, doesn't form a layer on, on top of the cables to uh, do any sort of resistance. You're really going to want to hit it real good. Some of them comes as a paste, some of them will come as a spray. Um, this is just what we had in stock at this time. Sometimes what I'll end up doing is spraying it once, uh, let it sit, uh, dry up real good, and then I will uh, hit it again. Because I really want to make sure that I don't have any corrosion build up in any of the metal. So we do sell here at Battery Wholesale, we do have uh, individual cans of the spray that you can buy and take home. We also carry some larger cans if you're doing uh, more in bulk. So that's it I guess for uh, for installing a 36 volt, so just make sure you go ahead and flip it on to uh, drive mode and you should be ready to go. Um, we've got four locations here throughout the state. We've got one in St. Joe, Wilmer, Bemidji, and Bowlby, which is a small town up by Grand Rapids. Uh, we do stock Trojans at all the different locations there for your golf carts. So feel free to go ahead and give us a call or visit us on the web at GetMyBattery.com. Thank you.